building two parallel tunnels, 15 meters in diameter, and almost four kilometers in length. Building them at the same time, and combining all tasks. Construction of the roadbed. Communication and emergency tunnels. Ventilation systems and filtering. In a city like Madrid, with very high population densities and busy roads. At all hours of the day. South Bypass, Calle 30. For its size, simultaneousness, location, innovation. One of the largest engineering projects of all time in the entire world. The South Bypass North Tunnel is about to see the light. Since work began in September 2004, the North Tunnel in the South Bypass Calle 30 has set milestones which have helped to broaden tunnel engineering horizons throughout the world. The unprecedented construction project requires a unique tool. A formidable machine which at the beginning was just an idea. Dulcinea. 15 meters in diameter and more than 100 meters long. Weighing 4,300 tons and with an installed capacity of 22,000 KVAs, it is the largest tunnel boring machine ever built. Manufactured under the project management team specifications, with the constant presence of a technical team from the Ferrovial Agroman and Acciona Infraestructuras companies. But an unprecedented construction project also needs exceptional logistics to permanently control incidents in the urban area, to guarantee the power supply, to recycle water reused in the construction project, and so that it is possible to remove 10,000 cubic meters of earth from the center of Madrid daily and deposit it in gravel pits and disused quarries, enabling their regeneration. Furthermore, the keystones that cover the tunnel as Dulcinea advances are the largest ever built, 60 centimeters thick and almost 15 tons in weight. Dulcinea has come to Madrid following a meticulously studied plan. More than 100 trucks arrived in the precise order and frequency required for the positioning of each piece, according to their size, weight, and order of assembly, mainly by road directly from Germany, and also by sea to the ports of Bilbao and Alicante. Dulcinea was assembled in just three months. On 
November the 25th, 2005, Dulcinea began its journey inland. And this time, it has achieved previously unknown levels of output, such as excavating and covering 36 meters of the tunnel. Just one day. As Dulcinea advances, the slabs for the roadbed are placed on site. Evacuation tunnels connecting the two main tunnels are opened. As well as those that communicate the transit level with the emergency level. Ventilation shafts, equipped with highly innovative filters to eliminate particles and gases expelled into the atmosphere, have been built too. A truck loaded with debris leaves the site every three minutes. In addition to those that bring the keystones. And other services. So that this incessant flow of lorries setting out from the center of Madrid is not interrupted by any climatic, traffic, or road maintenance reasons. And all tasks happen at the indicated moment. Permanent coordination and a high degree of information is necessary. Furthermore, vibration and noise produced is continually measured. And the debris removed is used for the regeneration of degraded areas. South Bypass North Tunnel. A major engineering and urban planning feat, which is about to become a reality. The immense effort of almost 600 people day and night over more than seven months. with formidable efficiency have reduced all anticipated time frames by two months. When Dulcinea sees the light, engineers around the world will have a new scale for their projects. And Madrid will have taken a major step forward. A dream will have come true. When on its underground journey at the end of the tunnel, Dulcinea finds the light. <laughs>